tech layoffs surge due to AI? So I just wanted to let you know that in our sister publication, AI Daily .us, AI Daily .us, which features breaking news in AI curated by humans, delivered every weekday to your inbox, is that we've got a special new giveaway where if you sign up to be a subscriber of AIDaily.us, you get a free guide on AI. So let's say you know absolutely nothing about AI. So you're a total layperson and you think to yourself, you know, everyone's talking about AI. AI is a huge deal. Everyone's getting into it, but I don't know anything about AI. I don't know anything about generative AI. I don't know anything about LLMs. I don't know about any, like people throwing these terms around and I don't know anything about it. So I put together a 20 page guide specifically addressing the person who knows zero about AI. It's called AI from Zero and I've got it as a free download instantly when you sign up for AIDaily.us. If you're looking for AIDaily.us, the link is in the show notes below. Really easy to get to. Just go to that page, a pop-up will come up, you enter in your email address and BAM! You instantly get the 20-page guide to AI and explains everything. And if you have any questions after that, just let me know. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So on that, on my, our sister podcast or our sister podcast newsletter, AIDaily.us, there was a lot of talk about layoffs. There's layoffs at tech companies. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why are there layoffs at tech companies? I mean, aren't tech companies doing really, really well because of AI? As a matter of fact, if you look at tech companies, and this is what I've always said, is that people have said to me, Chris, I want to invest in AI. What should I invest in? What stocks should I invest in if I want to invest in AI? Because AI is a hot thing, and I think I need to get in there. And I thought to myself, I, I would say to them, typically, some people might say, oh, well, get into Palantir, or get into this, or get into that, get into this, or C3.AI, or something that's specifically focused directly on AI. And I never say that. I basically say, you know what? If you already have tech stocks in your portfolio, you already have AI stocks in your portfolio because the thing about generative AI is that it needs a lot of money behind it. These small companies that are doing AI are all doing it on the backs of the big companies doing AI because Google, Meta, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, all of these companies in the AI space they are spending a ton of money on AI, creating AI, powering AI, all of this stuff. These companies have basically become AI companies. So if you already have stocks in the AI space, or sorry, in the tech space, you pretty much already have a portfolio of AI stocks. And that's one of the things I like about tech stocks is that they know where to go. If crypto was a big thing, they'd be in crypto. If AI is a big thing, they'd be in AI. In AI. They kind of like the vanguard of where things are going. So if you already have tech stocks, you already have AI stocks. But that's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about tech layoffs in the space. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, if things are great, great in the tech space, why are they laying people off? Well, it's pretty straightforward. What they're doing is they're churning out people who don't know anything about AI and bringing in people who know things about AI. They're pivoting their business. Like any good startup, they're pivoting their business towards the thing that is in demand. They're learning, they, they're, they're hiring people to help them build out AI because they're basically pivoting from generalized tech companies. Google is pivoting from a search engine to a, an AI company. Meta is pivoting from a social network to an AI company. Amazon is pivoting from a retailer to an AI company. They're all becoming AI companies. So what they have to do is they have to hire AI focused people. People who understand AI, they know how to build AI, they know how to work with AI, they're AI savvy. And a lot of the people that they're working with today may not be AI savvy. So they're looking at churning those people out and bringing in people who are AI savvy, which is important, which is why it's very important for all of us to become AI savvy. If you don't know anything about AI, now's the time to learn. 
And it's still not too late. I mean, some people are going, oh, yeah, well, that was a year ago. It's too late. Oh, no, no. We're still at the very beginning stages of all of this. It is not too late to learn about AI. It is not too late to become proficient in AI. It is not too late to become somebody who can work with AI and in AI and then eventually be hired by one of these companies that is looking for AI trained or skilled personnel. Like I've said before many times, I feel like I'm repeating myself all the time. Every time we've had a technological wave like AI, like crypto, like the internet, like podcasting, like blogs, whatever. Every single time that we've had this technological wave coming at us, we've had a lot of people go, oh my God, this technological wave is going to destroy jobs. So many jobs will be destroyed by this technological wave. All I can see is jobs being destroyed by the technology that's coming at us. And then the wave hits us, wham! And then after the wave hits us, we're like, oh my God, we need to hire people who know this technology. We need to staff up on people who know this technology. So suddenly, there's a huge surge of jobs in that space. That's right, folks. Why am I talking like William Shatner? Jobs in that space. This happens every time. And it's going to happen with AI. It's happened with any, every single technological wave that has occurred. Before it, job loss, job loss, millions of jobs lost. After it, millions of jobs created. Hire now. We're hiring. We're hiring. So relax, people. Just focus on getting up to speed with AI. And you can start by going to AIDaily.us and grabbing the AI from zero guide. And then going from there, do some Udemy classes, watch something on YouTube. There's a great stuff freely available on YouTube, all about AI, all about LLMs, tons of it out there. And so in fact, somebody contacted me the other day and said, are you doing a training course on AI? I just might. I don't know. I haven't decided. It's not too late. Now is the time to get into it. Now is the time to learn on AI and make yourself help you expand your career. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.